Okay. She's setting her up and then okay. she's going to say whatever she wants to say. Which camera should I be looking at? This one? Okay. So basically the question has to do with predictive engineering as a self-documenting artwork. Predictive engineering uh, is a t nom de gale. It's a word that came out of my research looking into security and surveillance strategies. You are experiencing zone control. One of the people that I was reading the most was Gary T. Marks, who was at the time a professor at MIT. He had written um, an article called, Are We Entering or Are We Living in a Maximum Security Society? One of the subcategories of what he characterized as the maximum security society was the predictive engineered society. The notion at the time that prediction itself was a raw material for control and how it was used and uh, created in these next iterations would be highly problematic and critical though to how our society uh, would live. And of course it, it, it has come home to roost. Up until 1992, the works had found themselves focusing on different aspects of control mechanisms. Cameras, monitors, guards, cages, lockdowns, barriers, barricades. And predictive engineering uh, was an artwork that started to look at the possibility of how thinking about what would happen next or where people would go how you could predict behavior by, by maybe lying to them a little or freaking them out or making them do certain things. The first predictive engineering was set up in two identical hallways. There were tricks to get people to run to the next hallway by, for example, showing a monitor to the audience where they would see naked people running around and it would look like it would be in the next hallway. So people would run to the next hallway thinking they would see naked people. And of course there was no one there because it was a fake feed or pre-recorded. So that was the trick. The mixture of images was live and pre-recorded footage so that people really wouldn't understand or know exactly what was going on. Warning, warning, there is live recording in this area. Warning, live recording in this area. We have a recording studio and bone crushing area in the back. Come play with us. But at the end of the hall, they could turn around and go to the other hallway to see what was happening. And in fact, at the end of the show, the carpet at the edge at the very end of this double hallway, the parallel hallways, was worn out from people running back and forth, thinking they could find what was going on in the other hallway. So the idea was to in a way, get people to enter the camera's view in order to get something in return, to get a view that they feel was a surprise or a gift or something very special. 